episode of Delicious Disasters. Tonight, we are going to make schnitzel. That's right, I thought I would try my hand at making another dinner. Schnitzel, you ask? Why am I making that? Well, that's what we were supposed to have for dinner tonight, and I thought I will give it a go. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for all of my recipe videos. This recipe tonight comes from the YouTube channel Tasty. Tasty made this recipe look really easy to do, so hopefully it'll be as easy as it looks. If you guys want this recipe, I'm going to put a link to the video down below in the comments. So step one of schnitzel is we have to tenderize the meat. On the Tasty video, they used a rolling pin. I thought I had a rolling pin, but I don't. I also don't have a meat tenderizer, so I'm going to use my handy dandy garlic crusher. All right, my garlic crusher was not working out too well, so I've switched to this bottle. In the Tasty video, they said I have to pound this down to a quarter of an inch. Our meat is tenderized. We are going to crack the eggs and whip them up so we can dip the meat into them. Alright, so the first thing that Tasty says to do is we're going to take our meat and put some garlic salt on it. And the next thing Tasty says to do is put some salt on both sides of the meat. I did not have any kosher salt, so we're using Himalayan pink salt. Which is not working very well. We're going to switch to real salt. All right, I have the real salt now. All right, now it is time to bread the meat. So first we're going to do flour, then egg, then breadcrumbs. Now we're ready to fry these up. Tasty recommends a quarter cup of oil in your frying pan. My frying pan smells like it's on fire and is smoking. Not really too sure why. Also in the middle of my frying pan, there is a hole of oil. So I've decided I need more oil because my pan is on fire. All right, I think this is hot enough, so let's put the schnitzel on. Oh my God. I burnt this. That is burnt. All right, that first one was too hot, so we're going to put the second one on on a lower temperature. Not sure if the first one is even cooked. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me for another episode of Delicious Disasters. Tasty, I don't know how you do it. You make everything look so easy. We need a taste test on this recipe, but before I get to that, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you guys can see all my videos of me attempting more recipes. If I didn't burn this, it would be pretty good, but I did, so I might have to give myself a fail on this one. <laughs>